looking forward to Westminster and what they were going to do. So that West actually was your suitcase. No. Westminster's world in a suitcase. Oh, more cheerleaders. That'll be the last cheerleader group to celebrate cheerleader group. We'll be seeing them soon. Well, actually, I say soon. It'll be a while yet before we get them down here in the performance arena. Uh, but the uh, Westminster's world in a suitcase looks like a pretty impressive entry, which we're going to get to see in a while. Uh, I think up there at the start, we are reaching almost the end of the parade. I think nearly every group has uh, has passed through that blue arch now to set off on the just under two mile route down to us here, Caroline, in Parliament Street in the uh, in the performance arena. A reminder of the London Boroughs competition. Each of the London Boroughs entering for a prize to win for charity. This is the entry from the city of Westminster, Westminster's world in a suitcase. This float celebrating how the borough supports people across the world, offering opportunities in the city for all. Oh, ye of little faith, expecting some rain, perhaps. Such glorious weather that we've seen. They've come fully decked out in their umbrellas to keep away the rain for us. As we always say, and as I say to all the presenters every time we have a little briefing for London's New Year's Day Parade, what's the golden rule about umbrellas, Caroline? Bring them to stop the rain. Exactly. The minute you leave them behind, what happens? It rains. Exactly. Did I pass the test? You passed. Well, Westminster have been serial winners in the uh, in the uh, London Boroughs competition with LMYDP over o over years, and uh, it'd be very interesting to see if they manage to get themselves this year into the winners' circle once again. They're closely followed into the performance arena by that fantastic band that we've been talking about 